hate, I hate, I hate the Dino a Day tile sequence. In comparison to the last three, which were like, in my opinion, some of the greatest film tile sequences of all time, not just in Bond, film tile sequences of all time, this one completely misses the mark. You can't deny this sequence doesn't fit the tone and style of Bond films. But with that being said, I will give it this. It does represent the tone and style of what this film is. Now, this title sequence plays over a torch sequence of Bond, so it's not even really a full title sequence. We only get little tidbits, li little bits here and there over footage of the film that we're about to watch. And for me, the motifs that we've got in here of fire and ice, which agreed connects to the torture sequence that we're watching on screen right now, but doesn't really connect to anything else in the film. Now, I really, really want to get back to the fact I just said that this is not a real full tile sequence, which fair to say, tile sequences have sort of gone into their own world with the Bond universe, and it's what I come to expect. But here, it's just some sort of stuff slightly faded over the film that's still going on. And at the end of the day, it just doesn't look good. There are like little moments that potentially look good in the sequence, like basically the bit where you look through diamonds and really any bit that where Bond is not tortured. But overall, it's very vast. There isn't really much going on here. The whole sequence lacks style and elegance. Okay now, you probably click this video if I'm honest, not for me to rant on about the visuals here, but to go on that Madonna song. Oh my god, that Madonna song is so bad. I mean, literally, I remember just listening the first time thinking, Ow, my ears, my ears. When will this finish? When will this be over? Oh my god. There are lines in this song with like Sigmund Freud it. Analyze this. Analyze this. What? What are you going on about, Madonna? This song is terrible. It's cheesy. It's all sort of this weird techno. Again, yes, that does connect to the film, but it's just so awful to listen to. It's earachingly bad, this song. So yes, the Dine of a Day title sequence for me doesn't reflect well the Bondian style, but it does reflect the movie that we are watching. It's not a very good title sequence. In fact, I'll go and say it looks terrible and the song, oh, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into that song yet. All I have to say is I don't want to watch it. Sigmund Freud can watch it, he can analyze it, not me anymore.